Subscribe now or get punched in the earlobe. Get it out of my grimy mustache. Dude, I've got a great idea. And but you gotta do it with me. Hmm. What's that? Let me turn on the light. I don't know how your lighting is. I feel like I gotta do it again. You see all this? See how grimy I look? You see, right? Mm hmm Alright. This all right here. I'm gonna challenge everybody to do it with us. And I say yes, because you're gonna do it with me and you don't even know it. But I can't, I've never really grown a beard because I can't really grow a beard. Like my hair's not super patchy. It's not, my hair's not really patchy. Like it grows, but like it obviously grows the best right here. But like, you know, right here, it's super thin. Don't get a lot right here. A lot of people don't, but I've been growing it out for what? Two weeks, it's been, I think it's been two, two and a half weeks since I've shaved. This is what we're gonna do right here, man. Do a challenge. And I mean, I get married in, what is it, six months? Something I get like married in like six months, seven months. So I think, why not? I mean, I'm growing the hair out. Hashtag long hair outlaw coming back 2020. But I think the beer is gonna come too, which, who knows if it'll even be a beard in two months. It might look like a, <laughs> this is grimy beard. And I, and I know a lot of you mother truckers out there have grimy beards too. You just can't grow one. You're like 16, you only can grow like a little bit of a mustache. I want you to do it too. And I want you to send me all pictures. <laughs> I'm gonna make like a damn, make like a damn uh, photo album out of it. Shit, let's show in-laws, in-laws grimy beard. <clears throat> look at that griminess, dude. Look at that griminess. Yours is almost exactly like mine, except you shave your cheeks, which I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, you're fat. Why would you shave your cheeks <laughs> to make you look even fatter? Yeah, right? <laughs> but yeah, mine's looking real grimy right now, especially the mustache, which I'm like, if I don't grow much here, which I do, but it's just thin and it's blonde. Like I've got six different colors in my beard, like dark brown, red, blonde, blonder. It's weird, white. But I feel like if I grow this mustache out just a little bit more, it'll just it'll just fill in that space. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be horrible and maybe I won't get married in six months if I actually do that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, I had this idea. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we just got new doors up. New trim, new wall color. Um, new carpet, carpet's in. Look at that beautifulness. Mm -hmm. uh, my house is still a mess because we've been moving shit around, but like, I think the doors look awesome. I don't know what y'all think, man. They look great. <clears throat> yeah, we should show them the dip room. Oh, whoa, excuse me, apologize. Um, yeah, this is completely different. This is actually, and you guys are good, aren't gonna believe me. You're gonna be like, no, this ain't the real same room. This is the same exact room that the dip room was in before. Set. It's not finished. We got the still got to do the uh, big ass blowing doors on the closet. But yeah, dude, it's freaking. It's done for, man. It's done. It's not done for. Obviously, we're gonna bring it back, but it's gonna be on a different level of the house. So, anyways, that's not the point of the video today. The point of the video is I think I'm gonna go over my pew pew collection for them today. Hmm. Uh, I have, uh, moving all of this stuff, I've got like guns everywhere, bows everywhere, and this isn't even all of them. And I was like, you know what? I don't think I've ever done a video like explaining all the stuff that I have and why. And you know, before I get into this video, you know, there's gonna be a lot of guns and stuff in this video, but you know, I know YouTube's just waiting to 
put that piss yellow button on this son bitch and I just want YouTube to understand right now that this is all I am a huge hunter and outdoorsman every single one of these pew pew weapons and weapons that I'm showing today are for self-defense and for hunting and if you don't believe me then don't sorry I was trying to be like political and all this cool shit and but I still haven't finished my coffee. <laughs> well, first thing to do in the morning, I did just wake up. I ate a little bit and now somebody's calling me. What the dick? Who is it? Oh, it's little Steffi Poo. Let's see if she'll still want to marry me. Yellow. Yeah. Filming. <laughs> she always calls me when we're filming. Always. Ask in law. Let me just dump this really quick. Blew another giant chunk out of the left side. Oh, did you? <clears throat> Ew. Uh, little chicken wing. And we did just wake up. Oh, I didn't just wake up. I mean, I had my coffee and we got some, uh, some a little bit of food in us. But this right here is the breakfast of champions. I mean, it's the breakfast of freaking champions, ladies and gentlemen. You ain't gonna have a great day unless you got eyes on dip in your lip. This can, no joke, is two months old. Still moist as hell. Look at that. Watch this. Which side do I want to go? Still juicy as all kid out, dude. Mm. I, I, I know a lot of people don't like the sweet tea like I do, but dude, I, the sweet tea is my absolute freaking favorite. Yellow blend, close second. Yellow blend's like nothing I ain't never had before. I mean, everything is good. Watermelon is still probably people's favorite. It's lucky Lipper everybody loves. The bourbon, actually. I mean, we might throw a couple cans up every once in a while here and there, but just letting you guys know, this is a little inside information. I think we're gonna go seasonal with the bourbon. So, stay tuned for more info. I'm gonna joke here. I'm ready to go. Anyways, I want to show you guys my PP collection and all that kind of crap. I don't exactly know if this is everything. I can't really think of like, I'm trying to think because I have a lot of guns. I know I got a couple in there, but I guess I'll just start going over them. I guess let's just, should we just start with my my favorite rifle and yeah. the, the first rifle I ever got. Yeah, just pick it up. All right, man. Which one do you think it is? Point to what? Which one? The first rifle you think I ever had was? Oh, your very first? Yeah. Um, Might be deceiving. I think it's this one. Nope. No. That one. Dirty thirty, baby. That's the one. The dirty. Oh gosh! What the hell's wrong with me, man? Ah! This right here is the dirty thirty. I'm gonna open each one for you guys. Make sure it ain't loaded. There we go. So this is the dirty thirty, ladies and gentlemen. How's the lighting in here? Uh, it's pretty good. Do you need to go on that side? Mm. Yeah, it looks better on this way. This is my precious Dirty 30. My favorite rifle I ever have. Long time ago, bought this used in Tennessee. And actually, I thought it was funny. When I bought this rifle, they had this special little uh, sawed off end cap of a cartridge. And, but it wasn't, a, it was a 30 out six that was on there. And I was like, why the hell is a 30 out six round on a 30 30? I don't get it. <laughs> so I had him switch it to a 30 30. My buddy who's a gunsmith. Uh, got the Gore -te Gore Tex. Got the Vortex on there. Sorry, I'm used to just wearing Sitka. But this rifle, man, this is what I shot my first few bucks with. I shot Krabby with this rifle. Um, it's just a freaking all around awesome rifle. I love the 30 30 cartridge. I think it's probably. The most iconic and best deer whitetail deer cartridge in the world uh, i think it's king over everything um uh, when i say that i mean like obviously there's good ones that come out but i mean like back in the day i think 30 30 was the best deer round there ever was and still to this day you can make it make an argument <coughs> but i love that it's lever action lever action is just my favorite but uh I love it, man. This is probably my favorite rifle. Um, and that's the first rifle that we got there. All right, so I think second, I'm not really gonna go in order here. Let's just go ahead and go right here. This guy is 
my squirrel slayer. This is my squirrel slayer right here. This is a straight up squirrel gun. Super freaking light. It's a Savage 17 HMR, okay? I haven't talked about these guns in a long time. I'm surprised I can still remember everything that there is. <laughs> there is a, a Vortex 4 to 16 by 42 on this. It's a huge, huge, huge scope for this little of a gun. On the Marlin, I don't even have a freaking, I don't even have a, uh, by the way, I didn't even say what that was. It's a Marlin 336. 3030. A lot of people were probably like, is it a Winchester and all this kind of crap? Actually, you know what I want to do? We should we should probably make another video out of this because it's gonna be like so long. But I've never done it before. I want to John Wayne flip this gun. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I want to John Wayne flip this gun. If you guys want to see me John Wayne flip this, if you guys don't know what a John Wayne flip is, look it up. It's gonna be very hard with the lever that it has on it. They make like circular levels levers for John Wayne flipping, but if you guys want to see that, dude, it kind of looks like an AK right now. <laughs> right? Kind of looks sick, dude, like an AK, bro. It's a freaking, that's right, there's a redneck AK. Pew, pew. If you guys also notice that I don't have any black guns, when I say black guns, I mean like ARs, AKs, uh, scars, or anything special like that. Honestly, the reason why is because I've never gotten into them. I'm a typical gun guy, really, where I have like all these, you know, Glocks and freaking ARs, and I have one Glock. Which I'll show you guys in a bit. I don't have like ARs and AKs and stuff like that. Like I've never, never gotten into them that much. Obviously, like I feel like one day I'll get one, but I'm like a big rifle guy. All my rifles and everything I have are strictly for hunting. Like every single one. Like I don't have a single gun for self-defense, a shotgun wise or anything like that, except my handgun. That's it. Anyways, this is 17 HMR. Uh, bolt action. Freaking sick holds a mag. I got two 10 round mags for it. It's bad ass. Like I said, giant scope on this thing. You can slay a damn squirrel from a mile away with this freaking thing. <laughs> Trust me, okay? It's This is the shit when it comes to squirrel hunting right here. It's got Accu trigger on it. <sighs> Nothing in there. It's got Accu trigger on it. That's so sexy right there. So sexy. So I'm telling y'all right now, if you guys want like an insane squirrel slayer, a Savage 17 HMR, it doesn't have to be a Savage, but the 17 round is so badass. It's so powerful. The velocity is insane. And in my opinion, it's better than 22. I've got my 22 right here, which I didn't go get my other 22. This is my, it's funny because I had this 22 before the one downstairs, which is older. This is my uh, other 22 here. Which I actually gave to dad. I guess this is still technically dad's then. Yeah, so this is a uh, newer Marlin 22. This was made uh, probably by Remington because it's newer. Um, but it's a Model 60 and uh, yeah, it's just freaking, it's uh, these 22s, when you're using that 22 LRs, no matter what 22 I've ever had, they've always seemed to gives the rifle issue. Yeah, I bought this one from Walmart in Kentucky to originally slay squirrels with, but I didn't like the round very much, so I switched to the 17 years later. But I mean, still, it's a 22, dude. I mean, one of my sons or something like that, or my daughter, who knows? I might have a gosh dang girl. I want a boy! Uh, moving over here to some interesting rifle stuff. This right here is my muzzle loader. Oh, I haven't touched this gun in a long time. This right here is my muzzle loader, ladies and gentlemen. This is my TC Pro Hunter X, Thompson Center Pro Hunter X. It is the uh, 50 Magnum. Awesome freaking gun. It, it is a awesome muzzle loader. Super simple that they make them nowadays. And uh, it's the only muzzle loader I've ever um, owned. I've shot a lot of muzzle loaders, but. I love it, Thompson Center. It's a great one. I still remember you and I made the video whenever I went and bought this. Mm -hmm. I think, what we got at Bass Pro, Cabela's. Where, where were we close to in, in Kentucky? <clears throat> in Old Antarctica, I don't even remember. I still remember, I'll tell you guys a story about this really quick. I was deer hunting, going for a doe. I had shot a deer all year. Missed a buck that year. And uh, missed a buck with my rifle. And then I and then I uh, was trying to just get meat on the ground. There's a doe 300 yards out, and I'm like 300 yards with a muzzleloader. Like I ain't gonna do that. She wasn't coming any closer. 
And then like, I waited around for an hour and a half and then finally she started coming my way. She got to about 150 yards and I was like, okay, finally. And I use these whole tubes. You got powder in here, your powder blocks, and then you got your, that's the, the bullet. That's what the bullet looks like, which is insane. You got this red polymer tip, freaking hell. And it was like the first time I ever used this guy and I freaking used the whole tube. I kept missing like bad, <laughs> like missing bad. And I used the whole thing. The last shot I dropped her. She ate good, she ate real good. Anyways, big muzzleloader fan. Surprised I don't have more, but that's uh, the only one I need. I mean, shit, dude. You see all these people on YouTube now, they're showing off their guns. They got 20 of each weapon. It's like, what's the point of that? Unless you're showing off, man. I ain't trying to show off around here. The only guns I'm trying to show off are these. Mm. <laughs> Guys, see that sexy ass shirt? Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy, you, you see that? So, I guess now we're gonna go into my shotties. Marka. These right here are my Benelli shotguns. Um, not my only shotguns, but these are my Benelli's. So, Supernova is the one on my left hand, which is a pump. And this is my baby right here, my Super Black Eagle 3. In black, of course, with the outlaw sticker on there, of course. Semi-automatic, this one is a beast. Got my goose choke on there right now. These are my goose hunting guns. You guys know waterfowl a lot here in Colorado. Can't even really call it waterfowl. We're always sitting in a field, but <laughs> at least I do. I'm not a monster waterfowl hunter like all the people I usually go with, but. Supernova, pretty good shotgun. On the cheaper range, I mean, it's not cheap by any means, but it's okay. It, it treated me well for a couple years, and then I was kind of sick of the pump. Um, before that one, I had this. This is my Remington 870, good old faithful Remington 870. I mean, of course, the legendary shotgun right here. The 870, so this is my first one, which I also bought down in Tennessee a long time ago. But then I just switched all the way over to the Benelli Super Black Eagle 3, which is such a an amazing shotgun. Probably the best shotgun out there, I would say right now. Somebody in the comments is probably gonna tell me different, but I love this thing. If you guys want an amazing shotgun, Super Black Eagle, dude, I'm telling you. Can't breathe. Yeah, I know. That's such a fat dip in. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, sorry guys, I can't freaking breathe. I still, by the way, that whole thing, nose thing in the beginning, like you guys are probably like, what is he? He, he blowing blood out. I had surgery a week ago and I'm still getting over it. I'm still blowing out all the crap and it's disgusting. And when I've got a fat diff in, at the same time I'm trying to talk, I can't breathe. So I apologize for me being out of breath. I'm not as fat as you think I am. This right here is a special one. This right here mm. is my Browning Medallion. This is a sexy kind of show rifle, which why the hell is there a giant scratch on it? Mm. That was never there before. Not me. You know, you're the ones who set up this song, Vic. <laughs> the absolute smoothest rifle I've ever had. Look at this, man. Look at that bolt. So smooth. So freaking smooth. And uh, obviously it's the medallion edition, so it's super pretty. Here, I'll show you this side. Right there. It says medallion on there. A blue barrel. I mean, all these guns are dusty because... I haven't used quite of them, any of them quite in a while because it's uh, winter time out here. But this rifle is a love-hate relationship because I missed two big bucks with this rifle. Um, both look like they hit the deer and I have no clue because I never found any blood or anything. One was in Kentucky, one was in Texas. And I love this rifle. It feels amazing. The weight of it is amazing. But I'll probably never use it for hunting again, which, you know, you shouldn't use this medallion for hunting purposes anyways, unless you're like a rich guy in Africa or something. What the hell, man? I haven't even tell you guys what they're, or, well, I guess the shotguns. Those are all 12 gauge shotguns, by the way. I don't know why I haven't been talking about the cartridges, but this is a seven millimeter, seven millimeter rem mag. But speaking of seven millimeter, probably my favorite big cartridge. We're gonna go to my bad boy right here. And this right here is my Christensen Arms Ridgeline. Chambered in seven millimeter as well. Fluted. Okay, this is the smoothest I have. I forgot about this rifle. This is easily the smoothest I have. Like, can't beat it. 
I've got the giant 5x25x50, I believe that's what it is. Yep, Viper PST. Look at that freaking scope, dude. It's insane. Carbon fiber barrel. The paint job on this thing is sick. I love it. Um, this guy right here is... <sighs> I have not hunted with this guy yet. Well, I did. And then the guy who put my scope on at this gun shop down the road screwed me over by not tightening it down. And I shot one shot at the range and the freaking scope fell off. I was like... Are you serious, bro? So I haven't hunt, took it hunting since. I obviously tightened it down myself, got everything leveled right. Loctited everything. That's very important. This is uh, obviously made in America, made in Utah, these Christensen Arms rifles. I saw this rifle and I was like, and I held it at the store. They had a different version of it. And I was like, man, this is sick. And then I did a lot of research and ended up getting the Ridgeline. Big, big fan of this rifle. I mean, People use these things for a long, long, long range. I've never shot out past 300 yards ever in my life. Um, so, but people shoot out to a mile with these things. Or maybe not a mile, I don't know. I ain't no, I ain't no professional, man, I'm just saying. A country mile. <clears throat> yeah, maybe a country mile, that's right. So those are, uh, I got a 22 downstairs, I'll show you that. I'll go get my, uh, follow me in here to where I used to sleep. It's still in here because we're still moving around. My self-defense gun, obviously. Right here. Glock 19. Glock 19 has the... You want me to open this guy for lighting? Sure. Oh, too much. Too much? That's How's a lot. that right there? Better. Glock 19. Right here. Uh, true glow sights. Beautiful. It's out. I've got a lot of different options. Whoa! Got a lot of different options here. I've got my hollow points. Two of those, just in case. And just in case, I've got my extended, extended, extendos. I was trying to find a cool name. My extendos as well. Extra rounds and stuff like that in there. Your, your extends? Are you talking about the dick pills? Yeah. Oh, oh. See, that is my, uh, Pistol on the bed. Um, love the Glocks. Big, big fan. Some people aren't. I was thinking about getting a Springfield soon. The XDM uh, is one of my favorites. I've shot that a lot. If you guys have any favorite handguns or whatever, you guys let me know in the comments below. You guys are probably surprised I don't have any revolvers. Colt 45s or anything like that. I actually used to have a few and then I sold them because I had uh, a couple rares ivory handles and you know really nice really really nice handguns old western style mud jug switch <laughs> i ended up selling them before i moved here back to colorado so uh yeah but this ain't just about it's this this whole vid is not just about guns figure i show you all my bows too which i don't have like that many bows i've got other people's bows here sorry for the mess man like I've got some other rifles. I know I'm gonna, I've got so many guns like all around my house. They're all locked up obviously, except my 22 downstairs, which I'm gonna need. This right here is, I don't have my very first bow, obviously my first bow is a Martin. This is my Matthews No Cam, which is an awesome bow. I loved it. I shot it for five years. I kept this bow. Hard to say nowadays, all these people get a new bow every single year. It's an uh, old lady's diamond right there. I got it out for Christmas. This is in-law's Bowtech. In-law bought this. You guys remember Critter from <laughs> from uh, Critter Country from Kentucky, my old taxidermist. In-law bought this guy from him a long time ago. And then uh, my new, my bow that I'm running now, um, it's in here, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. there it is. Still in here. Obviously you guys have seen this. Uh, great bow. This is my Matthews Triax right there. Got the black gold sight on there. Beautiful bow, man. This thing has killed a lot of animals. <laughs> I think mm. I've killed over 20 animals with this bow in one year. So, and every single one was eaten. Sorry, I just hit you in the dick with that. <laughs> yeah, like, odd, odd accident, too. <laughs> my bad. Uh, so, but I'm actually, I think I'm getting a new bow this year. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's being sent this way. Dude, the uh, so we'll see what happens. What? When I look at this boat, it <clears throat> brings back so many memories of us in Kentucky <sighs> practicing in the driveway. Dude, it was a obsession mm -hmm. when in law and I first started bow hunting. Like, oh, oh I started bow hunting first before in law, you know, moved in with me, and then when he moved in with me. I got him into it and we were obsessed. I mean, for two years straight, every single day, we'd be out there shooting bows. Like we were so obsessed with it. And you guys know that if you guys get into archery, it's like, it's, and we would shoot guns all the time too. We had a range at the farm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a range here. Apparently I'm allowed to, but there's this old lady that lives behind me that is such a freaking cunt that I cannot I, I know 100% she's gonna call the damn cops on me if I ever shoot back there, but whatever. It's, you know, I live out here on five acres and we still have an HOA, it's insane. You guys let me know in the comments if I should move as well. There's a lot of things you guys gotta let me know in the comments about. <laughs> but uh, now I would say after, uh, out of all my rifles, like I said, I got some more downstairs, but 3030 is obviously my favorite. That's gonna go to one of my kids down the road and maybe they'll take their first deer like I did with that guy. I've been thinking. Sorry, I'm out of breath, man. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. I'm looking at all this clutter in here because obviously, you know, what we're not gonna film today is is uh, is basically cleaning a lot of this stuff up. A lot of my dip memorabilia. So, like this, Copenhagen dartboard right there. I mean, Copenhagen dartboard, very classic in there. We've got that. We've got that Copenhagen sign behind in-law right there. We've got Copenhagen light up sign under here which i'll show you guys in a minute we've got copenhagen signs we've got skull signs everything right so i've got this idea because i just want to give it away man i don't want to sell it like i don't need the money to like you know just sell it on ebay or something like that because obviously i don't want the stuff anymore because you know <laughs> the greatest dip of all time right <clears throat> so i have this idea and this is what I'm going to do. Obviously, you guys know right now, if you guys sign up on outlawmerch.com for Shirt of the Month, I'm giving away five grand and a bunch of other shit, yeah. right? So if you guys sign up Shirt of the Month, not only do you get a shirt every single month, but you also have the chance to win five grand from me, from my freaking own pocket. But that's not it. This is what I also want to do. If that's not, you know, for you or whatever, if you guys want to win some dip memorabilia, this is what I'm going to do. Every $50 spent till the end of the month, till the end of this month, January, Every $50 spent on mudjug.com, shut up, just shut yeah. on mudjug.com until the end of the month, I'm gonna, you son of a dick, yeah. stop it. I am going to give away this month the Copenhagen prize pack, which is gonna be this dartboard, that sign, the lighted, the, the Copenhagen light up sign for my videos before. I'll show this in a different video, but this is what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna give away that prize pack as one to a random person starting right now to anybody who spent over $50 on mudjug.com until the end of the month. That's all you got to do. So go up there. And not only that, but on mudjug.com, if you spend over $49 on their website, you already get a free gift set with like outlaw sticker, mudjug sticker, a can lid, all that stuff. So you're going to get a bunch of free stuff anyways. But at the end of the month at random, I'm going to pick one person that spent over $50 on mudjug.com and I'm gonna send them a Copenhagen prize pack. And then next month, we'll do like Skull or Grizzly. And then the next month after that, we'll do Stokers. Like whatever I have, I'll just continuously give it away and until it's all gone. I'd just rather just give it away to some of you guys and then plus sell some mud jugs while we're at it. Because I mean, obviously you ain't a real dipper until you got a mud jug, son. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. And eh, it don't even spill. Ha! Hey, uh, you mean that? you'll give away to the stokers uh i don't know about that man i mean i love me some stokers dude i mean you guys know me and bobby are close and everybody is stokers so i don't know about stokers just yet because i love those guys everybody else though can fuck off this right here is oh dude the bear hug a lot of you guys ain't seen that unless you follow me on instagram banjo loves it obviously luna is scared as hell of it she cannot stand this thing so yeah, there's the bear rug. Pretty freaking awesome, man. Finally got done. Looks like Banjo's been laying on it. No. <laughs> Women, I saw one of them. Son of a bitch. Anyways, this is my last rifle right here. So that was not a fart, I swear. This right here is my last Model 60 Marlin. 
obviously sitting on Krabby here. I did not shoot Krabby with my 22, but <laughs> this is uh, my, this is, I don't know what year this is from. I looked it up before. I think it was from 1975 or 73. And uh, this guy right here is my Marlin Model 60. Uh, very cool rifle. I love 22s, like I said, but um, I think uh, this one is, takes the cake for my favorite over my other one. I got this at an auction. I think I got it for a hundred bucks at an auction, at a gun auction. And uh, the first one I ever went to, super cool. I've had this for probably over 10 years now. So, pa! shooting cans with it. Maybe one of my little kids will use this guy and pop some cans with it and learn how to hunt. So, I'm actually gonna bring this upstairs. We've got to take a thumbnail anyways. You know how you, that YouTube life is. Oh, also check out this gun. This is a, my favorite gun. It's an awesome gun and it's a great gun. <laughs> It's a fake gun. It's a fake gun. <laughs> you know how YouTuber life is. We gotta go take a badass thumbnail, so that's what we're gonna do right now. But, I mean, are we gonna do a John Wayne flip, in-law? I think so, dude. I think we might go do a John Wayne flip. Let's see upstairs. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, getting memories with all these guys. It's pretty funny. I got a lot more rifles and shotguns than most people. A lot of people might say my gun game's weak because I ain't got no... No good ARs, AKs, or anything like that. But, I mean, I love rifles, you know. I love to hunt, love backwoods life. So, anyways, you guys let me know. If there's any other rifle you think I need to have in my artillery, you let me know in the comments below, because, I mean, I love to hunt. Um, I do need a good hog gun. You know, I've always wanted a good thermal rifle. I used to have a 300 Blackout, sold that. That was like the only, like, cool, gun that like some people would say i guess had but i think these are cool man there's a lot of history here so anyways man if you guys want to see the john wayne flip in next video which i don't know how the hell i'm going to do it because that gun is heavy i haven't held it in a while <laughs> i gotta watch some youtube videos on people doing it um i don't know how it's going to work with this lever action but if you guys want to see a john wayne flip oh my gosh i'm scared as hell if you guys want to see a john wayne flip i'm definitely going to hurt myself probably or hurt this rifle if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Obviously, it's going to be 100% safe, but we'll upload that video next if you guys want to see it. Smash that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments. And maybe I'll hurt myself for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, man, I think that's going to do it for today. I just want to show you guys my Pew Pew collection. A lot of stuff we got coming on the trucks and things like that in the future. So stay subscribed, man. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. We got a lot coming in 2020 on this channel. I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but who's been around the longest? <laughs> who's been around the longest and who's done it the longest, man? <laughs> You're f looking at him! Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, don't forget, over $50 spent on mudjug.com. I'm going to give away a Copenhagen prize pack to a random person at the end of the month. Now till the end of the month, so you got like a week and a half left, right? Yeah, yeah, a week left. So, in the next week, pretty much, whoever spends $50 or more, on mojo.com i'm going to keep track of everybody that does you can even put it in the custom notes whatever the tits you want to do so many randoms going to win the copenhagen prize pack we'll do that and you get a freaking badass mud joke so you need that as well love you sons of dick we'll see you on the dip side maybe where i'm hurting myself with a john wayne flip holler Wayne of the big bucks is where I'll be I got shine in the storms as far as you can see Country Al Capone to find me you need a drone Walk up in my woods and get a broad into the dome I got frog gigs, trot lines Catfish hooks and sharpened buck tines All for you if you cross me for the last time Put you down together